we try as a staff to be consistent in how we approach everything uh, day in and day out, whether it's spring ball, whether it's in fall camp, um, uh, whether it's, you know, going to play for the national championship. You know, we try to be consistent in how we approach every single day uh, with the same type of intensity. Uh, there's no doubt um, as you get older, you're, you're more capable of handling that and doing that at a high level. But these young men tend to end up, uh, you know, making it more intense uh, as it gets closer to game week. So certainly I can see it from them. Uh, their, their want and desire to get out there and and physically um, impose their will on another opponent. Uh, you can definitely see that as the practices have gone on this week. Uh, you know what, I, I think it's it's kind of nice, you know, somewhat as an artist, you have a blank canvas in a lot of ways because you got a lot of young people who just really haven't had a ton of experience being out there in the fire with the expectation being on them third down in the red zone, late in clutch periods, uh, late in, in the clock. They just haven't had those opportunities in actual games. So to be able to really teach and help them learn and understand what the requirement is in all of those situations has really truly been a blessing for me and, and for the group. Uh, there's been a lot of light bulbs going off in the room aha moments and it's you really appreciate that these guys are putting in the time and the effort to really try to make themselves into the best version of themselves but ultimately you know we don't want to take away what they really can do there's some guys that can run really fast guys who got some physical strength in the room okay but also hey now we got to learn how to play the position at a high level and I, it's just been fun trying to you know be an artist as much as we can be and and make this group into a masterpiece Uh, Jeremy has been exceptional. Uh, his leadership with this group, shoot, with the entire team has been exceptional. He He's really put himself out there in a lot of ways, in a way that he normally hadn't done that when we were at the prior place. Um, and so this has been a moment for him to really – push the envelope with his leadership amongst everyone that's uh, involved on this entire football team. But ultimately, I think his knowledge and understanding of what it looks like, what it's supposed to look like, is extremely valuable for everybody involved. Um, the the formation, exactly where the alignment should be, um, the ability to run the route slightly different than maybe how it's drawn on the paper. You know, it's one thing to get the paper and see, hey, this is what it's supposed to, this is what it is. And yes, if there's nobody out there, that's what it should look like. But ultimately, when somebody's out there, hey, there has to be some slight nuances that you have to have uh, in your tool belt, as I like to say, uh, of, of understanding. So it's been super valuable to have him out there. He he fights every single day. He gets everything he got. He takes every rep that he possibly can. But at the same time, he's standing right behind guys, coaching them up. I can see coaching in his future. Kendrick has developed himself into being really our enforcer at the position. You know, I take a lot of pride in the group really blocking on the perimeter and being violent in our blocking, um, but having tremendous technique. Uh, we were talking yesterday, all right, we all know who, all right, we all know how, but it's about who wants to block, you know. Uh, Co Coach Gillespie was talking about it a ton, and of course in the receiver room we're talking about it a lot. That, that's what it's all about. We know where to go. We know how the technique for it. Now it's about desire and want to. And that young man always has the desire and want to every single play, every single time, without exception, to block on a perimeter. So uh, really, really can't tell you how much I appreciate him and how he brings that mentality to the group. I can always point to him and his actions more so than even what he says to let our guys know this is how it's done.
There's no doubt about it. Uh, his growth is is continuing to go uh, go grow more and more and more every single day. Um, you know, a lot of it is when you have great size like he does. You know. It's about being able to drop your weight violently and get in and out of breaks more efficiently, and that that's harder. I mean, guy, people who haven't been six foot six don't know and understand that. I've never been six foot six, but uh, I know what it's supposed to look like. You know, it was something that you know some other receivers that I've had the pleasure of coaching they had to learn it along the way too. You know, um, one of the receiver coaches in the NFL, Coach Megatron, and that was something that he really and I, I got a good relationship with him because of a prior guy, but. He he really pushed that on Megatron a ton to really be able to drop his weight violently. And Odom is he he is he has been absorbing the information every single day um, and, and and is willing to put in the time every day to make sure that he gets better and better at, at that. So uh, obviously they're all freshmen. I mean, there's not a freshman on us team that's not a work in progress. So we'll continue to work with them and make them better. Just know there are other things he does at an exceptional level. And, you know, hopefully we can use those things uh, while we're helping him develop the other things that he needs to get better at. I do. I do. Yes, I do. You know, I really haven't thought about it a lot. You don't get a lot of time to think about that as a coach. Um, we're in here early in the morning, don't leave till late at night. And and we're just, we're so focused on just trying to make sure that these young men are prepared and um, all their dreams, goals, and aspirations, we can help them achieve them. So I'm, I'm so much more focused on that than even my family coming in town. Obviously, I'm married and three kids too. So I barely get to see those ones. My son had a game last night that I wasn't able to attend, but I got to see some highlights. Um, so, again, I can't even attend his games, let alone be worried about who else is coming to the game. I'm worried about making sure that we do the right thing for the University of Alabama's football team, and that's what I'm going to spend most of my time on. I'm sorry. What would you say? At Western? Um, Western is a great place. Um, I grew up there. But I think the thing I remember the most is that my daughter was born there. Alana was born in Bowling Green. Um, so it was just an unbelievable day to have my, my daughter. And she's uh, one of the three lights of my life. I really should say four with my wife, too. Um, so um, that's probably what I remember most about being in Bowling Green. I think it's just a plus, honestly. I think it's something that you're just fortunate if that is the case. At the end of the day, I don't think you, I don't know what your name is, care whether we got people coming back here that have experience or not. You want us to go out there and perform at a high level. That is the expectation here at Alabama. So it may be okay to have that uh, and certainly I appreciate that Kobe knows what this environment's going to look like on Saturday and he can help some of these young players know hey guys this is what you're going to feel this is how it's going to feel on game day but at the end of the day if we put somebody out there we expect them to, to perform at the highest level possible to give our football team the chance to win the game. No doubt about it. Uh, I, I remember my times coming down here to Tuscaloosa and uh, I was at some of those other programs and you knew coming in the door that it was going to be a, a fight, a dog fight. And uh, you just wanted to come out of the game and uh, feel like you had performed successfully. And so um, I, I don't think that they're going to come down here with the intent of anything but to try to win the football game. And that that, that is legitimately how I felt every time uh, we played uh, some, some of these tougher opponents. I came in with the intent to win the football game. So um, we got to make sure that our players know and understand that our expectation is to go out and perform every play 
with a one and one mentality. It literally has to be, all right, we're not worried about the result of the game. We're worried about, hey, what we're going to do on each and every single play. Probably inexperienced. I mean, that's the best thing I can tell you. Um, just haven't had a ton of experience out there. Um, but we're going to get it. It's, it's on the way. It's coming here soon. Um, the practices really are their experience. So, you know, even in saying that, I've given them plenty of experience in practice. Now, you know, being in the game environment, it really isn't a lot different. We put them through so much in practices that really I hope for the games to be a lot easier than what we're going to do in practice. I mean, Uh, I don't know who's going to play at this point, really. Um, there's a lot of guys who have been out there, um, been rotating a lot of people um, at various positions even. So um, the expectation is if you go out there on the field, you perform at a high level, stay on out there and keep performing, okay? All right? If you don't, Come stand by me, okay? All right? And, and that's just the reality of it. They know and understand it. When they see this video, they going to know what that means, okay? All right? <laughs> Game week. Um, honestly, our group runs a lot. Um, we, we run a lot of plays. Um, um, we get a lot of volume, especially on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and even on Thursday, but on Monday, you know, some of them will be trickling into my office to try to come watch some film to kind of preemptively get themselves ready for, you know, whatever we're going to see so they can get their first look at it. Um, but I try to give them that information on Sunday. So I'm kind of working backwards on you guys with this. Um, but it's just a lot of volume. We try to put a lot of pressure on them to be able to continuously perform all throughout the week. Um, we don't catch balls. Someone on the field doesn't catch the ball. Guys are on the sideline doing up downs. And they weren't even in the game. There's just an expectation that our guys at this position go out there and catch the football and compete for the football. Um, that's just the way I coach it.